Bill, when you got pulled into that champagne bath, uh, what were you thinking? Boy, this is cold. <laughs> <laughs> it was shocking, you know. Um, you know, we huddle up for a, a Lord's Prayer, which is kind of a symbolic thing for us at the end of Sunday games. And so they kind of lured me into that group with, uh, you know, we still have something we have to do, don't we? And I said, you, you bet we do. <laughs> and got me in there. But, um, you know, I, I felt at that moment the um, kind of the joy of their joy was passed on to me. Yeah. yeah I feel you talk all season about you know, building to a building to a point where you can win a championship and seeing that are, were there signposts looking back on it now that you could see that it was working uh, you know we had moments uh, in the Houston series that were really important for us obviously you know fish getting bumped out of a ball game after you know coming back and winning the second game in that series uh, and Jordan coming up big and playing in game number three and winning in, in uh, Houston, getting a home court back on our side. Um, those those were big moments for us to win those back-to-back uh, -back games. Um, and then the the ultimate tipsy-turvy, uh, tipsy you know, events that went on in that Houston series uh, that checkmarked our team and people doubted whether we were playing hard or, you know, playing with the right intention and all those things, I think really was um, a moment of decisiveness for us as to whether we really were going to find a way to get this done because it was a challenge for us, a big challenge. Uh, they were elusive. We could kind of corral them and, you know, get them in the space where we wanted to hold this team. And, uh, you know, the game seven was, you know, a real indication of this team, you know, the effort and the moment, you know, rising to the moment in that series. And, you know, winning a couple close games against Denver, you know, was great. You know, that was kind of a, a, a sign that we could play up to the moment and do the things. But, you know, people were contending that, you know, perhaps we didn't even deserve to win one or two of those games. And we won. Uh, but after, you know, the fourth game, and I was, you know, kind of irritated the way we were running our offense. And, you know, things were, you know, ball wasn't being shared enough. And things weren't happening. Ability in games five and six to really put together the idea or concepts that we hold as as how to get things accomplished: pace of the game, sharing the ball, ball movement, quality of shots. You know those type of things all changed, and I felt like we had you know kind of passed the grade or so to speak. We could be champions at that time. Did you doubt that the team was playing hard? You know, they, the players said it in the Houston series, but did you doubt that? that they were putting an effort out there? I, I didn't doubt it. I, um, it's not about playing hard. It's about playing without uh, confusion, I think. They, they want to play hard, but sometimes they don't know how to get it accomplished because they're confused. You know, what's, what's, the, what's the process of this screen roll? What's the process of that screen roll? And, you know, there's a variety of a combination of activities that, you know, change up how players play them. And if you have to think and play at times, that limits your you know, physical output. I'm 